play everyone. There are moments when we need to have only one instance of our class. For example, when we are creating a database connection, we want to create only one database connection and then share it with objects that need this connection. We do not want to create a separate database connection for every object because it may be costly. Or maybe we would like to share an input system with our objects or an audio system. The list can go on and on. And this is what singleton pattern is used for because it lets you ensure that a class has only one instance and it provides a global point to access this one instance. So keep in mind that we have only one instance and we provide a global point to access this instance. So when talking about singletons, we can compare them actually to global variables because they tend to be like global variables. They have the same idea that we can access them everywhere, from everywhere, and we can change their states from everywhere or their data. And this is what global variables are used for also and you can see that singleton is actually not that complex we, we have only one class and this is our singleton class we have the static instance method over here which returns us this unique instance field and actually these two are uh, important for singleton because they provide this general idea of having this one unique instance and providing it to every other class or method in our code base. Uh, the singleton operation and get singleton data methods, you can add whatever you want over here. It, and also with the field, with the data field, you can add whatever data you need the key thing is that you have to provide this one instance and you have to ensure that this class has only one instance. And these two things are doing it. And also the constructor is, uh, is important in this case. But yeah, you can add a lot of different types of data and methods in this uh, pattern. And you can see an example of singleton implementation. So first of all, we have a field to keep track of the single object. We have this instance field. Then we have this, this getter actually in our case, it can also be a method in this uh, structure we had a method static instance but in this case we have static uh, getter that provides lazy initialization and a single global point of access what is lazy initialization you might ask so this means we create this singleton when we need it we are not creating the singleton in the beginning of our application or in our game we are creating this when we are calling this instance getter. So you can see that when this instance, we, when we have this instance, we do not need to create a new one, but we, when we don't have this instance, then we are creating this new singleton and can access this from everywhere. And also the constructor is uh, doing something important in here and that this important thing is that it limits the access of this creating this singleton class with this private key keyword so no other instances can be created because this was also the key point of singleton pattern we do not want 
anyone else to create this singleton we want to ensure that we have only one instance of this singleton class singleton patterns have a lot of good things in common they are easily accessible they are easy to implement and their lazy initialization is good because saving memory is always good and singletons can be subclassed this is good because we can define as many subsystems we want to a system and in game programming patterns book an example of file system is brought up there is implemented a single file system which can be used as a wrapper to be cross-platform using subclassing subclassing is powerful please do not overlook it we can use it when we need it for inheritance in general can be a bad thing but when used correctly it is a good thing and with singletons we can make use of configuration files and singletons can depend on other singletons so there is a lot of good things with singletons but using singletons actually requires us to take a good care because we have a lot of bad things also first of all because singletons are like global variables they have the same problems that global variables do first of all they make harder us to understand or the reason about the code for example when we create some when we have some kind of a bug and this bug happens because of a singleton changing singleton, singleton state it is really hard or it can be really hard to track down where this uh, bug comes from because we can use singleton basically from basically in everywhere in our code base so when we don't have the proper tools it is quite hard to know where we made this error by changing the singleton state and singleton encourages also coupling we tend to use singletons in these classes where we should not use it maybe one one person has created and really thought through about the design of a of the goat and may now we are uh, coupling increasing the coupling by using singleton in a place where we should not use it and singletons are not concurrency friendly at all this means that um, i hope you know about multi-threading i hope you have tried it in java so the basic idea was that you have different threads that run different codes at the same time and when using global variables or singletons in these codes then it can cause a lot of problems because when some things are executed in not correct order then bugs can happen so global variables are actually quite dangerous and therefore singletons are quite dangerous and singletons actually break the single responsi responsibility principle you know that this principle uh, has the idea that every class should ha have only one responsibility but in our case the singleton pattern solves two problems first it ensures that a class have a single instance and provides access to this instance and this violates the single responsibility principle actually singleton's lazy initi initialization can also cause problems uh, because maybe we have some kind of a game that requires a specific uh, memory layout but when we create this singleton in some uh, time uh, then this layout is not as the game expects to be and it can cause also problems but with singletons they are detrimental to unit testing it's really hard to unit test singletons because singletons hold state for as long as the program lasts they are run they are unable to replace singletons with mock implementations uh, so methods that access singletons cannot be effect effectively unit tested 
and there are you saw that there are really really bad things with singletons but when you are using it right then do it but keep in mind that there are a lot of problems regarding singletons but where do you use singletons so general, generally we use singletons in systems that bind a single available resource uh, in games we use them as manager objects that control a widely accessed system although we should use service locators because this is a better opinion if at all possible it's not it is better to avoid singletons but if you need it then go ahead but be aware you can cause a lot of problems using singletons so now your to-do list you have to read the singleton chapter from game programming patterns book and from ggLearn also and you have to do the singleton task in ggLearn in teams in teams of two exactly and this is your these are your tasks uh, i think this singleton task is quite doable you have to implement singleton actually uh, you have to implement not only one singleton but a few singletons in uh, different ways and i think this is beneficial for you so gather up your teams and good luck to you creating these tasks and if you have any questions then be sure to message me or call me in discord thank you